guys, it's Carter. Welcome back to the channel. Hope you guys are all having a great and amazing day today. Now, in today's video, I wanted to jump in and talk about NVIDIA. As of today, the stock is up a whopping 2%, which always means something good is going on inside the company. So, we're going to be breaking down what is going on and answering that main question of should you buy this stock. So, I hope you guys all enjoy it. If you have any questions, let me know down in the comments. And make sure you guys hit that like button and subscribe because it really helps me out when you guys do that. So now that jump into it, let's go. All right, so for those of you that don't know what NVIDIA is, NVIDIA is one of the largest computer and tech stocks out there, right? The company brings in billions of dollars every single year, but really where they make their money and what their bread and butter is, is off graphics cards and computer parts. Now, with that being said, NVIDIA is highly invested into OpenAI software and all that good stuff as well. And I think we all know the growth of OpenAI over the past couple of months. We've seen companies like ChatGBT become one of the fastest growing online platforms that we've ever seen, hitting over 100 million users within a couple of months. Now, comparing that to like Facebook or Instagram, that took several months, if not a year in some cases. So this is growing at an astonishing rate. With that being said, we've seen a company like Morgan Stanley come out today and upgrade this company, which anytime you have a powerhouse like Morgan Stanley upgrade a stock, you're gonna have like retail investors like you and I want to invest in the company because we we believe in Morgan Stanley and that's kind of what we've seen. We saw a 2% increase in price and that was just 100% because of that upgrade. Now, right now, NVIDIA is up a whopping 79% year to date. So I think we always could look at this as an opportunity. Okay, maybe the train already left the station or is this still a good opportunity to invest? For that, I think we always have to look at some of the fundamentals. Now, looking at the revenue and all these fundamentals, looking at them, honestly, they're not the greatest, right? We've seen a steady down downward trend of, of the revenue in a lot of the fundamentals, right? The revenue is down 20%. The net profit margin is down 40%. So these are key indications that the company could be selling off. One thing you may have to look at is the most recent earnings where they actually beat expectations, which caused the stock to go up in value. I think that always represents a good opportunity, you know, to, to understand where the stock is going because if you have a beat earnings, this could be a possible reversal. Not to mention the company has about $13 billion in cash. Yes, $13 billion in cash. They only have about $9 billion in debt, so they have more cash than cash on hand than long-term debt, and that's always a good sign. Let's just talk about should you buy this company. And now that we talked about the pros, the cons, the fundamentals, should you buy this stock? That's why everybody clicked on this video. Well, let me tell you. For me, I definitely think NVIDIA carries so much potential. Am I investing in it? Absolutely. I, th I think the reward, excuse me, far outweighs the risk. I think there is risk. It's highly volatile. You know, it's gonna go up and down. It's gonna go up 20%, down 40%. It's gonna be very, very volatile. But I think looking back, you know, in two to five years, I think we're gonna be wishing we would have bought NVIDIA at 250 bucks. That's what I think. now. Could I be wrong? Absolutely. What am I doing to have a defense with this? Now, for me, I'm keeping it under 5% of my portfolio size. So for every $100 I have invested into other stocks, assets, ETFs, I'm putting five bucks into NVIDIA. Now, what that does is keeping it under 5%, it stabilizes your account, makes it less volatile, and you always can invest more down the road. Another good strategy that I'm doing is dollar cost averaging. Invest weekly, monthly into the stock. What that does is it develops good average share prices. So whether the stock's going up or down, you prefer it to go down actually because it lowers your average price. So when the stock recovers, you make a lot more money. But you just invest consistently. Investing is like going to the gym. If you go to the gym one time, you're not in shape. If you go two times, you're not in shape. You gotta go consistently to get in shape, guys. And that's my plan with NVIDIA, keeping it under 5%. Right now, we're seeing some major upgrades. I'm super excited to see where this thing goes, guys. So we'll see you guys later. Hit that like button, subscribe, and we'll see you guys later. Take care, everyone.